Hi friends. Hi friends. In this uh, video, we are going to discuss how to create a bulk user uh, in a, in an environment. In a, in a environment. Okay. So bulk user generally required once you once you do create a multiple uh, where you are shifting a, a large amount of user from one user to another user from one environment to another environment uh, and also maybe from one uh, one uh, system to another system uh, especially uh, it may happen like you have a test environment in test environment you have a lot of users which is tested and trial and tested now the same environment user need to be copied to a production environment so that is maybe one use cases the other use cases like uh, you have the specific user already confirmed in a in a in a production environment a couple of users need to be deployed to develop and have test so that they can use their Goals and other stuff. Okay, so let's see how to do that. So there is an option called import user. There is a called export user. Export and import is already 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 checked in our last video. In this video, we are going to check how to do the import users. Okay, so at the bulk user input. Okay, so once you click on the import user, it start it import for the as for the import from local files. See it again. Once you click on click on the import uh, this icon, it will ask import users from the file. So you click import user from the file. Then it will ask you to option to select the file uh, from the local system or CSV files. So if you click on the CSV file, select a file from local system. So I already created a local system file which is a CSV file in the name of user. So I am just uh, selecting the local system and is the uh, name of user. <coughs> it is selected over here. So once it is selected, then what happened? I am just I am just uh, going to create this uh, the mapping over here. Okay, so create some mapping is nothing but you just click on the create mapping. So it will ask you the ask you the uh, whether is a user ID it map to user ID first name as to first name last name to last name blah 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 all those things. Okay, why is make why mainly is required because see if once you created the the user so user having a header and header line and also we have the the, the header lines and uh, we have the information right. It may happen like the header line may not be matching with the information lines. So it, or maybe the header line and information lines may be a different. So in that case, this mapping is really required. Here I am using a file which is generated from export uh, user. So there is no chance of mismatching the user. But once you manually created a file, there is a high chance some of the due to the spelling or due to some of the the row might be uh, uh, might be not in exact order or those kind of situation may occur. Okay. So that's why you can select these things. Now consider you can uh, you can think this on the first name. This I would like to map it in the last name. The same way this things I need to map it in the first name or so on. So okay. Once you click on OK, now it will ask you to import them. So once you click on import, it will start importing. See, it will import and it will be creating this extra rules. See. So I have three users test id underscore one one admin underscore one and uh, test db underscore one. So these three users are already created. You can see over here, right? And this another three users. So let me check you the file. So I should open this file before because I didn't open because once the file is open, then it will not allow me to import. So your file, you can see those users over there. There are three users. Those three users are are. are exactly replicated to your uh, information right so just keep remember a couple of things first of all once you import this file thus the csv file should be closed it should not be open then it will it will throw you error number two it is always checking validated with the user id and the email address so user id and email address should be unique one okay and the third point the name, first name, last name, display name, email ID, roles, all you have the option to you have option to do the mapping. So check the mapping once. If you are not very sure, the mapping are already corrected. Okay. If you are using the same export import file, so it is fine. But if you are creating a manually generated, then ob obviously you should check the mapping once, or you can just go to step by step and check the mappings. Okay. I hope it makes sense. Thank you. Bye.